Heavenly Father, we receive your words with joy and treasure your commands within us. We incline our ear to wisdom and apply our heart to understanding. We cry out for discernment and lift up our voices for understanding. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. So we may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth and the unfaithful uprooted from it. By the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. Know therefore and see that it is an evil and bitter thing that you have forsaken the Lord your God, and the fear of God is not in you, says the Lord God of hosts. For he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates. When he hears the words of this curse, he blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, even though I follow the dictates of my heart. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. They do not know to do right. For my people are foolish, they have not known me, they are silly children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. They do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. Woe to those who devise iniquity and work out evil on their beds. At morning light they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. O Lord, they do not delight in your law and meditate on it day and night. In fact, they give no thought of you or your final judgment. Majesty of heaven, forgive us for giving the wicked too much of our thoughts when we should be focused on praising and adoring you. Guard our hearts and minds with the truth of who you are, and keep them unpolluted and unaffected by the way the godless act and think. Raise us above the pollution of the world to that sacred and intoxicating atmosphere filled with your goodness and your love. Your mercy, O oh Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Oh, how deceitful and depraved is the heart and mind of man without God. Still all around us is the mercy and faithfulness of an ever-present God who cares deeply for his creatures. Your immeasurable mercy fills the expanse of the skies above our heads while rebellion fills our hearts. And while we are apt to forget our God, we live continually in an atmosphere saturated with your faithfulness. The unchanging, unaltering air provided by the sovereign God who never fails or forgets. How truly blessed we are to live in the realm of your patience and truth. Those blue skies of hope that part our dark clouds of affliction and give us assurance of the smile of God. Your covenant promise reveals further the wonderful love and goodness of God. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice in loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O oh Lord, you preserve man and beast. The immovability and stability of the righteousness of our mountain God, who cannot be shaken or threatened by godless and wicked man, 
brings us comfort in this unstable and immoral world. As high as the mountains rise above us, so great is your righteousness and justice, which are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you as you care for every creature. Of the increase of your government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, in order to establish it with justice and judgment from that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with justice and righteousness. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. How deep and mysterious are your judgments, God, as inaccessible as the depths of the sea. We dare not challenge or dispute your justice, Lord, for you are a God of unquestionable truth and equity. Who are we to question the mind and will of the transcendent sovereign God? Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has become his counselor? Or who has first given to him and it should be repaid to him? For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Blessed be your glorious name which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. With gratitude and love, we praise your holy name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.